Is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? We are ready. Group one, are you yes. ready? Group one, are you yes. ready? It's Kelvin, Cheryl, Ruhi, and Zuti. So, some people are still moving. Everyone, are you ready? We are ready. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, Mima, Saeed, Shannon, and I, we, we are at, uh, we from PSC, we are from Penang Science Cluster, so we will spotlight video on you when you are presenting, okay? So that all your friends can see you. Don't by accident press anything else, okay? On your side, then it will just disturb everything else, okay? Any questions before we start with group one? No. No. Okay, great. Last but not least, good luck everyone. We hope you do really, really well, okay? Okay, first up, let's bring out group one. Group one, their mentor is Miss Ng Shopping. And their group members are Ruhi, Kelvin, Cheryl and Zuchin. So, the beginning, we will start with Ruhi. Um, okay, hi, my name is Ruhi and we're group one. So, our project was about predators stealing turtle eggs. And so now it's Calvin's turn. Good morning, everyone. Hold my on, Calvin. Hold on, Calvin. Hold on, Calvin. Let me spotlight you first. Okay, go ahead. Now everybody can see you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kelvin Gaw. Let me share with you the problem and solution on sea turtles preservation. Problems that we are facing is turtles homing of millions, now dozens of these slow and steady species are almost extinction. Some turtles for their shells and meat. Others are victims of wildlife trafficking, the pet trade, accidental capture in fishing nets, and habitat destruction. So today, our group one will help keep the turtles and its eggs safe in the territory. Order to help them to help them return to their home safely into the sea. It will stop and prevent thieves and predators from killing and hurting the turtles and its eggs. So, I will present to you our solution. To solve the problem, we have created a project called Turtle Egg Theft Detector by inventing a theft detector using microbit. There will be invisible wires surrounding the egg nest connected to microbit. When thieves or other predators get nearby, they will get the wire. Microbit will then turn on the siren and spotlight to alert the caretaker. The spotlight is represented by an LED in this project. That's my presentation, and now I will pass the mic over to my teammate, Cheryl, to explain all the coding. Thank you. Okay, Cheryl, it's your turn. Good morning. Good morning, my name is Cheryl. Now I'm going to share with you our coding. Before this, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes, Cheryl, you may proceed. On start, we put, on start, we put show icon so we know if it's fine. We also put digital read pin to check if there is some vibration. If digital read pin is zero, meaning the wire is disconnected. In this case, the turtle eggs will be surrounded by the wire. If the predator comes to the turtle eggs and breaks the wire, it will send a signal to the microbit and it will set the alarm along with the icon that should appear. Now I'll pass back to my teammate Ruhi. 
Okay, Ruhi, give me a moment. Let me just spotlight the video on you, okay? Um, so, this is like what our micro bit looks like. So, it works. Hold on, hold on, uh, Ruhi, hold on, Ruhi. Cheryl, you have to stop sharing your screen so that Ruhi, we can see Ruhi. Great. All right, Ruhi, go ahead. So it works like when you remove the white, when um, like it gets disconnected, then it starts beeping to show that the predator is coming near the eggs because it broke the wire. So the red and black wire are connected to the buzzer and the LED and the white wires are connected to the electrical conductor. So thank you for listening to us. Okay, can you just show the set up again, Ruhi? Just show the set up again. Can everybody see? Can everybody see her set up? Yes. Great. Okay. Thank you, group one. You did a really, really, really good job. So. Great job. Yeah. Give them a clap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, give them a clap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, group one. All right. Now. Just as an afterthought, uh, friends from friends from all over Zoom here, do you all have any questions you want to ask them? You can ask them anything. Is their project? I have a question. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay, go ahead, Yosia. So they're saving the turtles, right? Well, you can find some of the turtles as turtles swim pretty fast. So maybe the detector cannot detect them or the shells block the detector's radio signals. What will happen then? Yongxiang is a egg test detector. Egg. <laughs> Specify on the egg, Yongxiang. <laughs> you went you went too advanced. Egg test detector. Egg egg detector. Total egg, yeah. I see. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so uh, some of them didn't quite hear. They heard turtle only. Uh, so I know it because I read their folio. It's turtle egg theft detector. Okay, specify on the egg. I'm sorry, Yong Siang. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right. Um, Again, well done, group one. That was a smooth, tra uh, smooth transition of presentation. Everybody did very well. We could hear you. Uh, next group, perhaps uh, the next one could speak more clearly, okay? As some of us on site here, we have to mute some of the computers because it's on echo, right? Okay. Thank you again, group one. I'm sure your mentor is very, very proud of you. You're very proud of yourselves as well, right? Yeah. Let's move on to group two, which is Saeed's group. And it, their mentees are Yijie, Isa, Adesh, and Jensen. Group two, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, group two is ready. So first one up is Yijie, right? Yeah. Okay, Yijie, let me put you on spotlight and you can speak. A very good morning to everyone. We are group two and our project title is Thunder and Wind Alert. The problem that we are solving is to trigger the pupils, living things and or animals that have the risk to get shot. This issue is happening due to the lightning is too dangerous and it will cause living things, animal or human being to die or turn into ashes. Now I would like to in invite Isa to present. Hello, uh, I am Isa. The solution for this problem is it could remind or warn people to get out of the danger. And this project is for people to remind this get out of danger because thunderstorms could 
cause very heavy rain, making people get a cold. Isa, you're on mute. We heard you until thunderstorm and then you went on mute. That's it. Can you repeat? Uh, the solution with this yeah. project is to remind or warn people to get out of danger because thunderstorms could be dangerous because if you're if you run in the rain without an umbrella, you could get sick. Okay, so next one would be Adish. Um, okay, hi. Um, so today I'm going to be screen sharing um, the, the code. Okay. Okay, so I was going to share. So this is this is thunderstorm and wind alert. So now, uh, so now, uh. So now, huh? wait, wait a second. Are you okay, Adish? Can you screen share? No, it did not. It did not uh, let me screen share. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, Jensen or somebody else, Isa or EJ, can you screen share for Adish your code? Yes, then but Adish, Adish can explain. Adesh, yeah. you are explaining the wrong one. You you need to explain the hardware. I'm going to explain the coding. Oh, so it's Jensen's turn? Yeah. No, it's his turn first and uh -huh. I will be the last one. Okay, all right. Go ahead, Adesh. Okay. Um, Oops, so... sorry. Okay, so... To make it clear, so this, so, so this is our prototype. Um, wait, um, wait a minute. It's moving. Yeah, hold on, yeah, everyone. It's loading for them. Mm. Yeah. So this is our prototype. Mm. So we in, instead of doing the actual um instead of using the actual micro bit, we actually use the prototype. So it would be easier for you to I mean for everybody to understand. And yeah, so this is the moist, I mean, the, the moisture sensor, I mean, those. Okay, so first, um, if, if there's a thunder or anything, the vibe, the sound sensor will, will detect and it will, it will show a buzzer, I mean, the buzzer will uh, make a loud noise and from the then it will show either um, the red light because the thunder is too dangerous for for um, any uh, human being or living thing. So if it's if it's um, if it's um, vibration, I mean if there if it's wind, um, the vibration will I mean the vibration sensor will vibrate and then it will show um either the yellow light or the green light so so the mo for the moisture sensor um if it's if it's raining um 
if it's raining, uh, we would actually um, use the moisture sensor to detect how uh, how heavy is the rain. If it's too heavy, I mean, like if it's too moist, that means it's there's going to be uh, I mean there's going to be a flood. If it's like a normal, um, like a normal like a normal uh, moisture, then it would be showing green. So it depends on uh, whether uh, which which um, light show. If it's red, it will, like I said, if it's red, it there would be a loud beep. If it's yellow, it wouldn't it wouldn't have that much of beep, like a, a bit lower. If it's green, it's gonna have a lower green, and there's gonna be um there's gonna be um a good signal sign so for the micro bit uh, when it's red uh it's gonna show like a danger signal by the led lights um in the micro bit if it's yellow it's gonna be showing um like okay like okay um signal uh signal by the led lights and if it's green it's gonna be showing a either a tick or a or happy face so it depends it, it depends so yeah so 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 who's done is it now um so now i will pass on to jason jensen or uh, to explain the uh, code Okay, Jensen. Okay, so this is our our project coding two and I will one by one explain the whole coding. Okay. The first one is this. So it will detect if it's thunderstorm and rain and wind means that it 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 is danger. So it will call the danger. Okay. This one this is how we test the 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 project coding okay so if it's equals to one means one is active this one is active so this if this is one and it will cause something or send a signal to to know to let us know about there's danger okay and this one will be when thunderstorm equals to one, it will call on into true to to make the the whole thing working. Okay, this one is almost almost the same. If true, it will call the sorter system to sort. Is it rain, wind, or thunderstorm? Okay. This is also the same with the with with this thing. It, yes. So this is the almost yes. So this is the same as this. Only it called the the other sorter system to sort the whole thing to get working and this if wind is going to one then they will set on into true and and will and the project will be working and this is almost the same as the last one okay so now here Okay, so 
this is the project, it means that if someone call the function, it will active and it will detect when thunderstorm and rain or rain and wind or wind and thunderstorm unequals to zero, then it will give a school, a school head and repeat three times this melody and will digital write pin for, to activate the LED, okay? And the sorter system, this is more complicated. So some if someone call the function sorter system, it it will detect when on means wind or rain or thunderstorm. Three on three also the same means that like this is wind, thunderstorm and rain, and not rain and thunderstorm or thunderstorm and wind and rain or rain and wind or wind and thunderstorm and so it, it goes to true means like it's active okay and it will and it will activate to call the safety safety ones to let us know about how how is the weather going Okay, or else it will don't it will cause safety into zero. Okay, this one. So if this one is sorter number two, it will sort that when it detects rain and thunderstorm or thunderstorm and wind or wind and rain and not rain or wind or thunderstorm. Or rain and thunderstorm and wind so equals to true okay means that means that true is active so it will cause still safety still safety is the the yellow led okay and or else it will cause safety zero means that it won't call Okay, go to the safety. So, the safety is someone called it. It will double check. It will detect if rain or thunderstorm or wind and not rain and wind or, or wind and rain and thunderstorm or thunderstorm and wind or thunderstorm and rain equals to true. Then, it it will send a signal to activate to activate this coding means that it will show the led head the, the human's head and and will repeat three times the melody and and the digital right pin is for the led to light okay and the and the last of second the danger one so if it detects thunderstorm and rain and wind equals to three, three means active, then it will show like the school will become half and repeat three times this melody and activate the LED. So last but not least, this is the last coding. If thunderstorm equals to one, then it will show this animation. And if it's not thunderstorm if it's rain and it will show this animation but if it's not thunderstorm or rain it's wind it will show this animation okay so this is our our project group two of coding and thanks and and my and i will stop from here okay Is that all, Jensen? Yeah. Do you want to maybe show uh, how the simulator works? Does the simulator work? Oh, okay. 
Yeah, uh, maybe show uh, your show. friends how the simulator works because the coding is quite long. So maybe show them okay. what happens when you have uh, one disaster and then what happens when two disaster and what happens when three disasters comes in. Okay. okay? Can you share okay. your screen and show them? I already spotlight yes. your video. All right, everyone, so, pay attention. This is how we how we test the project. And this is the real pro project that when when those things when those things is active, it will cause it will send a signal to cause something. Okay. So like this is zero means not active. And this is zero too. Now our weather have thunderstorm and it will show the school like that the head and we'll and we'll have the lightning animation and sorry about the sound you can't hear it can you can you all hear it hear the sound can you all hear the sound no we can't hear the sound but we can see the icon okay so never mind and if wind is active with the thunderstorm it will change to something like if it's two of them together, it will become one of them will become a head and and later will become a school like like get sh like you will die. Okay. And if three of them is active it it will its school will break into half. Okay, do you all understand the coding? Yeah, I think it's better now that you've shown the simulator. So they actually can see. Unfortunately, not all of us could hear the alarm, but we could see what happens when you have one, uh, when you have thunderstorm only, and maybe yes. when you have thunderstorm and wind, and when you have thunderstorm, wind, and rain, right? Okay. So at least everybody can see all the different icons. Okay. It would have been definitely cooler if the mother had worked. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay, all right? You did a good sure. job. All of do you any, very good do, job. And, do, do anyone have any questions? Yes. I do. Okay, what is your question? What about volcanoes? This is kind of impressive, but... Volcanoes? What about volcanoes? Uh, but... But this project is not about volcanoes. This project is about the thunderstorm, wind, and rain. So no volcano signal. I thought about okay, earthquakes. Benson, it's specifically for thunderstorm. So when you say thunderstorm, rain, wind comes into play. If you are specific to volcano, then you will have to think about eruption. So it's different from thunderstorm, okay? Okay. okay. All right, Jensen, good so job. This, so I will stop from here. All right, congratulations, EJ, Isa, Agis, Jensen. You did a very good job. Give them a clap, everyone. Yes, nicely done, everyone. Good job, group two. Okay, let me just remove the spotlight video from you, Jensen. Okay, group three. Miss Jensen's group, are you all ready? We have Hui, Kimberly, Yong Xiang, and Saudi. Okay, so uh, upon request, uh, we are going to use Miss Cynthia's, uh, I'm going to highlight Miss Cynthia's laptop, okay? Okay, Huying, you can start. Speak clearly, okay? okay. All right, go group three. Hi, my name is Huying, and I am from group three. My mentor is Miss Singtian. The group project of my group is a self-watering device using moisture sensor. The reason why we did this project is to save the life on them. Now, can anyone tell me why is 
this problem happening to let us save the life on land? Can anyone? Here is the reason. The reason is people are cutting trees from land and it causes animals loses their habitat. So the solution is to prevent animals losing habitat. Before I end, any questions? If not, I will. I have a question. Yes. What is the coding you're going to do? A self watering device using moisture sensor. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Any questions left? Now, I will pass to my group member, Kimberly Law, to explain more about our project. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Kimberly Law from Group 3. I will explain the project to you. It works in, in this way. When the moisture sensor says the soil is dry, the microbit device will connect to a relay. Um, Kimberly, just now you had the echo. Maybe no. no, 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 no. Never mind that. Hello. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. I am Kimberly Lo from Group Three. I will explain the project to you. It works in this way. When the moisture sensor sends the soil is dry, the microbit device will connect to a relay. From there, it will connect to water pump. The water will be pumped out and water the plant by itself. As we know, plants are special because plants absorb carbon dioxide and give us humus oxygen. We need more plants to control climate change and, and produce oxygen to us. So, our self-watering device is good and useful for humans. Besides, it is home to biodiversity as well. Now, I would like to pass my pass to my group member, Su Yong Siang, to explain the coding for this project. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yong Siang and I'm from Group 3. I will be the group member to explain the code to you. Now, where did I put that code? You need to share your screen? Yes, I need to share the screen. Okay, take your time, it's okay. Nobody's rushing you, don't worry. This is the code for an uh, automated watering system. Hold on, hold on, the code is not up yet. Hold on. Okay, now you can start. It works like this. There are two modes. I will first talk about the forever mode. The forever mode, in here, there is a set soil, show number, and a logic block. The set soil, the, a soil is the variable that will help us know what is the soil moisture. As we set it to analog with pin zero, which is where our moisture sensor is. After 500 milliseconds, it will show this variable soil. And then it will wait 200 seconds to use the logic block to see 
if the moisture sensor is low or high. Acidic to 900 because wet, a normal wet soil for normal plants is 900. But this number depends on what type of plant you are using this on. Like for example, cactus. For cactus, you will need to set this number to maybe 300 or 200. Okay, so if it's over 900, which is a wet soil, it will show a love symbol and pass 200 seconds and not water it. But if it's anything else than over 900, it will show a set face and digitally write pin one to one, which means on, as our motto is connected to pin one. And then it will pause 20 milliseconds to turn it off. Now for the manual override. When you press A, there will be these three symbols showing up. It will wait two seconds and turn the motor on, and then it will wait another two seconds to turn it off, then wait another two seconds to repeat the forever code. Thank you. Now I would like to pass this presentation to my teammate, Chao Ti. Okay, hold on, eh, Okay, it's your spotlight. All right, go, Chaldi. Hello, everyone. My name is Chao Ti. You might be wondering how our project works. So I'm going to explain how it works. So whenever you're on out of your house and for more than a week, you you don't water your plants. So at the end of your vacation, when you come home, you check your plants and your plants are dry and they're dead. That's why we created a self-watering device. The self-watering device works when the moisture sensor that, that the soil, it senses that the soil is dry. The sensor will send a signal to the microbit and the microbit will send, show a set face, meaning that the soil is dry. This signal will go to the water pump and the water pump will pump from the given amount of water in the container. So it can last for a week or so. After the plant has been watered, the moisture sensor will sense that the soil is wet and the plant has enough water. So enough water, this, cy this cycle will go on again and again. This will help the plants to grow better. This works by solar panels and or batteries. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. So what if the water is slow or the what or, or the the thing the the machine that you the project that you all do have no more of the waters? How do it land? But you should use your reasonable, reasonable container and fill it out with water. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay. Can all of you see the setup? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Great. Okay. Go ahead, Charlie. So, so we have this. Here it is. So, uh, the, so we have a, a moisture sensor with uh, five batteries and a micro bit. So whenever there's a set face, whenever there's a set face stone, the water will pump up. Yeah, there's some water that came out. There's some water that came out. Ah, there you go. Nice. Can you all see the water? Yeah, great. Careful, careful, careful. Put it back in. All right. 
Okay, cool. All right. So we can we can use the moisture sensor and I have put it into the soil. Now we we put this into here. Okay, so you great. And then it will automatically stop. Okay. I have a question. Um, excuse me, I have a question. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Okay, too much water, but you know your coding works. <laughs> yeah. It's just the relay. Alright. And it's just the so, relay. So whenever there's uh it's enough water, it will it will show uh love. Okay, wait for the love. There you go. It's just the relay. And when it's dry. When it's dry, there will be a set face. You showed the set face just now already. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Okay, seen anyone. Um, if, if you're outside and since yeah. you said that uh, you have to press it's okay. Up, which make it stop forever. Never mind. So, but at least it showed the happy face and the sad face, right? Okay. Stopped. Okay, great. All right. Oh, I have a question. Good job. That was group three. Thank you, Sintian, Huying, Kimberly, Yongxiang, and am I missing someone? Chaudi. <laughs> Sorry, Chaudi. All right, give them a good clap. Okay, go there. Give them a clap, everyone. Okay, very well done, very well done. Okay, so just now we had a question and Chaudi already answered it. Was everybody happy with the water pumping out? I think everybody was excited to see whether or not the water pumped out, right? Okay, great, great. Uh, does anybody want to ask group 3 anything? Or can we yeah, move I want on to, to ask. group 4? I want to ask a question, could I? So no questions? Or is somebody asking? Adesh, Adesh. Oh, Adesh is asking. Okay, go ahead, Adesh. Um, so if if they want to press an A button, I mean if someone have to press an A button and you have you have gone out to work and then you've forgotten to press the A button, what would happen? Like if you forgot to press the A button and then went to uh, work and then when you come back you see that the plant has died i mean like it's like so dry what would ha i mean like uh, what would you do uh, for that what could be the alternate uh, cause for that hello you can answer or mentor, you want to help also, it's fine. You can't hear. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. No one can't hear? Yeah, you're quite uh, vague in the background, Adesh. Maybe you have to speak up clearer. Oh, okay. Um. So, if you are, like, on out and you've forgotten to press the A button, so, then, um, if when you come back, uh, the plant is already um, like like dried up or is there any alternate cause for that instead of pouring water? I think that's your manual override, isn't it? Adish, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this your question? They can't quite hear you. Your question is, if, if somebody forgets to press the button to water the plant, what will happen? Is that the summary of your question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, what if, so the backup would, I think his alternative question, alternatively, he's wondering what happens if there is no control button or somebody forgets to water the plant, so what happens? Is there a backup for it or 
you have to just remember to always water your plants or is your coding automatic or is there a manual override? I think it's about your manual override. There is a manual override. Go, go explain that. There, 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 there. So there is a manual override. You can press button A and then it will water for two seconds. And after that, it will go with its forever loop. With the forever loop, it will loop it over again non-stop. Well, unless you forget to change the water, of course. If you forget to change the water, then it will not work. But we can put this in the river, so it will be an infinite water source. This will work a lot better on farmlands where it's near the river. And no, it will not flood, it was just a relay. Did that answer your question, Adish? Yeah. Great, yeah. great, great. All right, I'm glad you're happy with the answer there. Good job, group three. We had some quite, uh, quite a handful of questions actually about your device. I'm glad, I'm glad that your pump worked in the end and you had a relay and also a manual override. Okay. Shall we move on to group four? Group four, are you ready? We have Mentor Raja, Disyang, Kai Sun, Kaylin, and Kangji. Correct? So who is going first, group four? Me. Who is that? Kang Disyang. Yeah. Right? All right, oh. Disyang, let me just put you on spotlight, okay? Okay, good morning. My Go name ahead. is Disyang. My group has four members who are Kaylin, Kangji, Kai Sun, and me. Our mentor is Mr. Raja. We use servo motor, light sensor, and puzzle to build the project. The name of the project is deforest deforestation using servo motor, light sensor, and puzzle. Okay, then I uh, speak uh, speak already. Speak finish already. Okay, this young next. Who are you passing it to? I think it's Kai Soon. Okay, Kai Soon. Let me just spotlight Kai Soon, okay? Okay, Kai Soon, your turn. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. My name is called Kai Soon. We, we create a project to solve the cut tree and burn forest problem because we depend on forest and three for our survival from the air we breathe to the wood we use besides moving these animals to live there. Kai Sun, are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Are you done? Yes. Yeah. You're done. Oh, okay. So you explain the why. Who's next? Kai Sun? After you? Kaylin. Kaylin. Okay, let me look for Kaylin. Where is Kaylin? There you are. Go ahead, Kaylin. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yuan Kaylin. The forest station is happening because humans want to build buildings in the forest area, make wooden furniture. Humans want to own land to earn money and cut trees to build wooden houses. What is special about this project is puzzle will play a lot to a lot sound to trigger people when the forest is on fire or people cutting trees. You are done, Kelly. So last one will be Kangji. He will be explaining the code and the project, is it? Kaylin? Yes. Okay. Kangji, we already spotlight you. It's your turn. Okay. We need to... We must practice 3R. If we practice 3R, we can recycle paper and reuse paper. This is the coding for the 3R. 
You can share your screen, Kangji. That is one complicated. This is the normal coding for the project. And this is not my screen. It's okay, it's okay. You can ask your friend to scroll down. Yeah. Okay, that's big enough. If it's too small, we can't see. Okay, you can explain now. Oh, okay. When when the button A is pressed, you start the melody budding and show LED is a cross. Then and also some delays and the and it will show the screen sh string called no cutting trees. Then it will show the LEDs of the tree. If the light level is um smaller than two hundred and twenty five and the light level is bigger than two hundred and twenty five, it will show string light level. Several right pin is one to sixty. And it will start the melody budding repeating forever in the background. If button B is pressed, then it will repeat three times start melody wedding, repeating forever. And it will show string practice three and a delay and practice and a three hour work. That's all. And this is and this is the coding for the um no um that's all. Okay, thank you, Kangji. Uh, yeah, I know okay. group four. Who is showing the project? Your micro B project. Who is showing the project? Yeah, I think, uh, it's between me. Okay, yeah. sure, Rajat. Go ahead. The first okay, everyone, one, pay attention. Yeah. We the have first one, yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. So we have a buzzer and a Lee. So this one for mimicking the fire, wildfire for forest forest fire. I press the button A, it will mimicking the cutting trees. So the proposed solution is 3R, which is button B. It will repeat for three times. Practice 3R, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Group yeah, Tika, uh, just give me a minute. It, the okay, tree okay. will come back to original. Oh, okay. It'll come yeah. back to original position. I see. Yeah. Ooh, let's wait for that. Is everybody ready? The tree is going to come back to original position. Oh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Good job, uh, Group 4. I'm really proud. Thanks. All right, Group 4. Well done, well done, Group 4. 
Well done. Okay. Thank you, Group 4. Uh, and thank you also for the very lengthy explanation as to why uh, our land is uh, not healthy anymore and we need to practice 3R as well. Okay, I hope everybody took note of that. Okay, again, congratulations, Group 4. You did a good, good job. Uh, are there any questions from your friends? Going once, going twice. No. All right, group five. Are you ready? We have Anni Beverly, Ruizu, Kaiwan, and Nisa. So who's going up first? Anni, okay. Let me spotlight you. Okay, go ahead Anni, you're on spotlight. Okay. Good luck. Good morning everyone, we are from group 5 and my team members are Kai Yuan, Beverly and Ruizhe. The elemental Miss Misa. Today our project title is using radio signal to detect jungle fire using temperature, bluetooth and sound sensors. Jungle fire is an uncontrolled burning which is unplanned and an unwanted fire. Humans and nature are the main causes to jungle fires. Therefore, our project purpose is to protect life on land because we want to protect animals and forests from fires. I am going to propose our fire solution in three steps. First, detection. We set a detection system to detect the fire. Second is the alarm. We set an alarm system when the microbeat reach to a certain temperature. Third is action. We set it in a place so an immediate action system to, to fight the fire while waiting for help coming. I will pass on to Beverly and she will explain in detail. Okay, good morning everyone. Yes, I'm on it. Probably we can't hear anything. Okay, Hello? maybe you would like to just jump over to Anis' uh, camera. Hello, hello. Can hear. Stop, stop, slowly then. Hello. Good morning, everyone. My name is Beverly and I am from Group 5. Today, I will explain to you why is jungle fire happening. There are many facts that jungle fire might happen. Jungle fire are mainly caused by human causes and natural causes. Human activities near forested areas are the number one cause of jungle fires. While smokers throw the cigarette 
into jungle without completely extinguishing its bark will cause it burns, especially on hot weather. Many smokers throw the cigarette innocently. Their action cause several jungle fires happen. Besides, humans want to save costs so that they purposely burn the jungle to clear the jungle for plantation and sometimes they burn the plantation after it harvests, such as Indonesian forest fire. For the natural causes, lightning is the biggest natural causes. The lightning strokes of electric voltage cause fire. Nowadays, climate is changing so it makes the earth getting hotter. It will cause jungle fire too, such as Australian bush fire. And I will end here to pass to my teammates, Razor, to explain and share the coding. Okay, uh, my name is Sirazo. Our code, in our code, we had three sections that that is on start forever and what does what will happen on the another microbit on start the microbit will send a radio signal and it will show what is the group that send the radio and it will display the microbit's compass sitting and show LED 5 to display what is your in the forever part if the microbit senses the the temperature is more than 37 celsius it will activate the motor the servo motor to open the water sprinkler to put out the fire and it will send string fire to and its own serial number to the another microbit and it will show icon x else if doesn't have any fire it will close the servo motor that is that the, that the motor is controlling the the sprinkler and it will show the number of the temperature and the composite and on the on the microbit that receive that receive the radio if the microbit the if the another microbit receive the string that is fire it will open the water sprinkler and it will start melody budding to make a sound like a alarm to warn the the people come to the the people come to put out the fire and it will show icon x then it will show number that the micro bit sending the it will show the number of the the serial number of the microbit that sending the the in uh, the message that else it will show tick now i will show the simulation what the microbit On on start, it will sh show the where the comp the the microbit location, and if it the microbit sends the temperature is more than thirty seven, that it will sh it will the another microbit will. Uh, sound the alarm. I put uh, 
and then it will open the server to put out the fire. And the microbit at the microbit screen will show what's the uh where is the uh, the microbit that send the radio and the temperature of the microbit itself and what is the serial number of the microbit that sends the signal. Now I will pass the microphone to my another teammate, Kayuan. Hello, I am Kayan. Now I'm going to show you the Hello everyone. My name is Kayan and I'm going to show you how the micro bit works. Okay, which one do I go to? He's sharing his screen, right? Y'all can see again. Okay. Okay, now, now it detects the temperature 27 degrees. Where? Where am I going? Now it's 27 degrees. Okay. Now we have a heat source. Okay. Ah, careful, careful. Okay, show the heat source. Show the heat source. The heat source is a blow, blow dryer. Okay, where do I blow to? What should happen? It will make a sound budding. Does it show the temperature? It's 35. 35? Do you hear anything on your buzzer? Okay, it's passing. Can you hear anything on your buzzer? Yes. Anything on your other buzzer? on your buzzer? Nothing. No. But it's connecting here. Maybe you can tell them what is supposed to happen when they saw the temperature 35? Uh, in temperature 35, the buzzer is supposed to make a, an alarm. And also? And also the pin. Two, 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 two. Go up a bit, go up a bit. You go up a bit? Okay. So where's your buzzer? Okay, that's your buzzer. Alright, now I explain what happens when it became 35, what should have happened. And also you should explain what happens to your Bluetooth also. Try again. When it becomes 35, it the buzzer will make a sound mm -hmm. and it will send a signal to other micro bits. Is it okay?
Nisa, is that okay? Unfortunately, uh, the buzzer is not making an alarm sound, but it does detect the temperature, the LED reacts, and also the Bluetooth sends the signal to the second and third microbit also. So it all works except the buzzer. It can only hear a very faint zing sound. Very faint. Yes, I should be. Uh, I'm not sure what they download, but it's supposed to be a bit sound. Um, it could be that they set to um, uh, only once. So once it detected, uh, because this project, uh, this project is using a Bluetooth where one of the microbit is going to detect the fire, the heat source, and then it will send a message to um, it will send a message to other microbits and. Um, and the other microbit we started to sound an alarm and then all the microbits that have it uh, are in communication in uh, bluetooth communication with the with the microbit that detect the fires they are all going to open up the um the servo motor to sprinkle the water and wet the forest floor and on the uh, um on the demonstration there, it was uh, able to uh, show that the Bluetooth are actually functioning. And um, I'm not sure if uh, there is a beep sound there. Oh, what was there? Any beep sound? It wasn't a beep sound. It's more like a very thin buzzer-like sound, like a very zzz kind of sound only. But I think it overlaps so much. With oh, I think that should be the servo motor. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay, okay. I think the blue yeah, it should be the servo motor because uh, because we are using the servo motor, the beep and uh, the Bluetooth, right? And also yeah. the temperature sensor. So, uh, it might be overwhelmed the microbit. I'm not sure. Possible. And also need to check on the, yeah, need to check on the uh connection of the buzzer lah. Properly. Okay. But I think Nisa, for yeah. it to actually work on Bluetooth, your servo motor work, the coding is inside the microbit. That's a big feat itself for the kids. So having the uh, alarm not function properly, I think that is uh, I think that is quite smaller compared to what you and your group have done overall, right? So it does detect yeah. the temperature shows. So great job, group five. Very well done. Give yourself a clap of hand. Clap, 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 clap for them. Clap yeah, for them. Good, right. good job, great five. Congrats. Congratulations. And with that, we have come to the end of Intel Microbit Virtual Workshop. You have gone through six lessons. You have presented your project and all your folios have been submitted to me. So congratulations, everyone. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Just be proud of yourself. You went through seven weeks of workshop. You created something with your mentor. You learned something new. I hope all of you had fun. Okay, do you all have anything you want to say to us right now? This is your time. You want to say anything happy? Say, say happy things. We like happy things. <laughs> say happy things. We like happy things. <laughs> Huing says hi, bye. Wow, a lot of people Thank you are to chat right now. <laughs> Thank you to Atika and team, the organizer. Thank you to the, all the students You're very and all welcome. the volunteers. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure working with all of you. It was a fun Sunday for the past seven weeks with all of you. It was, I think, an adventure every week for everyone. There were ups and downs, but you all made it to the end. And I am especially proud to those who found the time to do, do their project, even though it was an exam week this week. I hope all of you do well in your exams, okay? All right. Before we end, I need one small help from all of you, okay? What? Just one small help. Can you all look in the chat box? I'm going to send all of you a link. Okay, it's a survey form link. Can all of you please uh, answer the survey and send to us and click submit? 
Can you do that for us? I'm going to send it now. Okay. Can you all check and see if it opens? Yeah, it's open. It's so good. It's a mentor, yes. Yeah. Mentors too, you are encouraged. I think there is one question that is a bit weird. It's actually for students, but uh, let me... I think you can just say yes because you like yourself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is that email address? Huh? Actually, I don't need to collect that. Can you all refresh the form again? Class. Refresh the form again. Okay. All right, refresh the form again, okay? I'm going to send the link again. Oh, okay, send the link. Just refresh the form again. It's in the chat box. Refresh the form again or that form. The one not 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 the correct one again. Okay, let me write down your name, huh? What is it? Do you see? Tagging again. The last one is what's the last question? Yeah, just say whatever you feel like. Whatever you feel like saying, just say it. It's fine. There's no restrictions, nothing stopping you to yeah, say what you, you like. Must answer it. Just yes, answer. you must answer it. Uh, where are you? Here you go. Try and see. Don't see. That's her personal thing. Don't see. Go there. Don't see. Hi, Atika. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Raja. Yeah, Atika. Uh, is the mentor need to fill up this thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there's one question that is a bit odd, so you can't skip it. Just, I suppose, just rate yourself as high as you can. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I know, I pass up. Do you have any ideas? Just say whatever you feel like it. Whatever you feel like it. I won't see, I won't see. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I hope we have something like this soon and maybe you all can join again. I'm not sure when and how. But uh, if there's yeah. anything on the Penang Science Cluster website, do check it out. With that, I think we are done. I think we are done, guys. All right, time to say bye-bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are very sorry if there was something wrong or something didn't uh, appear to your liking or it didn't work. We are very sorry for that. But otherwise, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for joining this, okay? Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Teacher. Yes, yes. We are when, here. Where will we meet? Bye, everyone. Give back the micro bit kit. I will say that in the group. Okay. I will announce that in the group, okay? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. I will say everything here. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Kenji. Bye, Adesh. Bye. Okay, uh, let me go get the file. Let me go get the file, okay? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Bye, Jensen. Bye. Bye, boy. Bye-bye, Adesh.